AI is coming for all average fractional executives, and it's not going to be pretty. I'm Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven. One question most fractional executives are asking, is generative AI a tool that can make me more efficient or a threat to my very existence? I was talking to Melanie, a fractional COO, who was gushing about how she was going to use generative AI to significantly improve her productivity. She told me, I've got this client who is hiring me to put together an operations plan to expand their business. I'm just going to have ChatGPT create it, and then I'll look it over and do some light editing. I'm sure they're going to love it when I'm done. But that wasn't why she was really excited. She went on, the best part is that I'm charging him like I was doing all the work from scratch when my real cost is at best only 20% thanks to ChatGPT. I figure I can serve four to five times as many clients, which will send my income through the roof. I had to hold my jaw tight to prevent it from falling to the floor. She can't possibly be serious, but yet she was. Melanie had one challenge and one very big flaw to her thinking. Her challenge was that her work product prior to AI was the epitome of average. She never understood that the primary reason she had always struggled in her business was her delivery of mediocre work to her clients. The fatal flaw was thinking generative AI could transform mediocre work into high quality output while improving her productivity fourfold. The idea that clients would pay for this at the traditional rate was delusional. To paraphrase Seth Godin, AI is commoditizing mediocrity. Let me be more precise. The type of AI I'm referring to is generative LLM or generative large language models. These large language models are going to, at best, give you answers based on enormous data sets containing information scraped, crawled, and fed from every possible book, online article, website, blog, social media site, and you get the picture. GPT-4 has 1.8 trillion parameters. It also has access to a massive and diverse data set totaling one petabyte gathered from the sources mentioned above. In other words, this data set represents the thinking of the masses. At best, the answers that chat GPT-4 and the equivalent will spit out for you come from the data set it has been trained on. At worst, it will hallucinate and make up answers inspired by this very same data set. You've heard of the classic aphorism of garbage in, garbage out. While these large language models that our generative AI applications run on represent the thinking of the masses in, average, if not mediocre content out. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't use AI in your business. It should be your go-to source for understanding how most people look at any issue or what the conventional wisdom has to say about any topic. It can be a starting point for a point of view on how many others before you have solved a problem or talked about an issue. It's a godsend for contrarians, a strategy I love to implement by allowing you to take an opposing position relative to what most believe. The output from a generative AI model can tell you what you need to differentiate from, but not what to differentiate to. The trap you will fall into if you use AI to generate your output is that your clients don't need you to regurgitate the wisdom of the masses or the insight of the mediocre. With the right set of prompts, they can get the same answer in a minute or two without your help. If you're like Melanie, and think you can leverage generative AI to do your work for you, you'll be sadly mistaken. You will be literally commoditized by AI, and the market price for your services is likely to be the cost 
of less than 30 minutes of your client's time. This diagram illustrates the threat and opportunity caused by AI for fractional executives. Given the large population of fractional executives, you can expect they will be distributed in a normal or bell curve in terms measured by their ability to have client impact. Statistically, only those one standard deviation or above, 16%, will be above average. If you're in this 16%, then you bring insight and wisdom to your clients. You think deeply about the problems you are addressing and often come up with creative ways requiring you to get outside of your comfort zone to solve them. When it comes to people, you are a leader, not a manager, and you inspire those in your organization to reach their professional potential. For those in the other 84%, things are quite a bit different. You sell yourself on your expertise for those that are average or experience for those that are mediocre. You think shallowly about the problems you are addressing, focused on how what you can do can benefit the client rather than the best way for the client to get the outcomes they want. You are more a manager than a leader and provide organization and structure for those who work for you. For those above average, generative AI will enhance the value you bring to your clients, allowing you to replace your corporate income and then some without having to spend all that time trying to find your clients. For those in the bottom 84%, generative AI is coming for you and it's on a mission to send you to Struggle City. You're going to be forced to make the tough decision to reinvent yourself so you no longer have the AI target on your back, find another line of work, or accept that your market value has fallen such that you are unlikely to be able to recreate the income you are earning in corporate. But for those in the top 16%, now is the time to strike. Differentiate yourself from the average and mediocre. Work on articulating and communicating your insights, wisdom, and leadership. Seek out clients who have the tough issues that you are uniquely capable of solving. Raise your price to fairly value the client outcomes that you can deliver. As Roman playwright Terence said in 161 BC, fortune favors the bold. So what are you waiting for? If you think you're in the top 16% of fractional executives, let's have a conversation and how you can play the winning hand in a world obsessed with generative AI. Consultants and other providers of expertise as a service lose too many sleepless nights worrying about where their future clients and revenues are going to come from. You've been told over and over that if you want more clients, you have to do more marketing, more networking, more LinkedIn outreach, more email blasts, and even hiring appointment setters to do more cold calling. What if instead you could get more clients by doing less marketing? Maven works with its clients to generate all the referrals they need to not only be fully booked, but to have a pipeline that takes the worry away on where their future business is coming from. Maven's the Referral Ability Edge Do It With You advisory service takes you from random acts of marketing to powering your business with referrals and even all the way to becoming remarkably referable where you go from doing the work to a highly compensated CXO whisperer. So email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to schedule an introductory call to learn more. Mm-hmm.